So here we have a test image that has lots of different colors in it and a grayscale on the right. When we are trying to make a plate or a stencil for printmaking, one of the first things that we need to do is make sure that our image is the right physical size. And the way we do that is I'm in Photoshop and I'll use image, image size. I use this for a lot of different things. It's super handy to resize images as well as check the size of an image. It brings up this dialog box, so that's image, image size. And we can see a number of things here. One, uh, how wide and tall the image is, as well as how many pixels per inch this image is as well. You don't see in inches, it's probably on pixels or some other setting, so you just need to change it in the drop down so it shows it in inches. It's harder for me to think about an image dimension in terms of pixels. This looks pretty good, but let's say I want to make this uh, fit on an 11 by 17, right? I want it bigger, okay? You'll notice that width, height, and resolution are all linked here. Now, when you open this dialog, depending on who used it last, they may have them perhaps uh, with this resample checkbox checked in which case the resolution is no longer linked to the width and height. And I can also unlink my width and height. So if I change one of these numbers, the others won't change. It'll stretch and warp the image. So the first thing that I do is make sure that these are all linked and make sure resample is unchecked. So if I change one of these dimensions, the other two will change as well. So we want to try to make this as big as we can that'll fit on 11 by 17. So our printable area for printing stencils for screen printing, uh, for example, is about 16, 16 and a half by about 10 and a half. We can't print all the way out to the edges at 11 by 17. So I'm going to make this 16. And you can see now the height is too big. So I can't make it that long. I need to change my height instead to 10.5, 10 and a half. So now it's going to be a, a, a little over 13 inches wide. And the resolution now is at 184 pixels per inch. If I want a higher resolution for some reason, right? Resolution has to do with the pixels that make up the image. If we see if we can see that, if we zoom in here. There's probably only so far we can zoom in. You can kind of see how it's, it looks pixelated or it's rough. It's the little squares that make up those, the image are our pixels, right? So we're seeing at this at about 800% magnification. If I have a low number for resolution, it means those squares that make up the image, the pixels, are going to be larger. And if I have a higher number, they're going to be smaller. Generally, if we were printing a photograph, we probably want something around 300 pixels per inch. But for screen printing, our resolution is quite low um, when we're making a stencil. But just for argument's sake, let's say I want this a higher resolution. If I just go in and change resolution to 300, you can see now it's changed the size. So I have to, bringing that back to where it was, I have to have resample checked. What resample means is that I can shrink or enlarge an image. And when I do that, I'm actually throwing away pixel information, or I'm asking Photoshop to add pixels where there aren't any. Right? Now, this is a problem when we do it to a significant amount. Say, if we enlarge an image to be twice this size, uh, and I want the same resolution or higher, the image will start to look kind of fuzzy and uh, a bit uh, pixelated. 
Similarly, with any application that's pixel-based, if you shrink an image and then enlarge it again, you've actually, when you've shrunk the image, you've thrown away pixel information. And then when you enlarge it, you're asking it to guess at uh, what pixels to put into those spaces that it no longer has. So it's not like you shrink and enlarge and you get the same thing back. It dramatically changes. So this is about 200 pixels per inch. I could probably bring it up to around 300, and I probably won't see any strange things on the surface. I won't get any weird pixelization. You can also select how Photoshop resamples an image, uh, whether you want it to preserve details or whether you want to, if you have gradients in the image, you want the gradations to be smooth, etc. I usually don't change this too often because I'm not um, I'm not dramatically changing size in most cases, uh, but that's also a factor that's part of this. So another thing that's happening here, you can see I changed this to 300 pixels per inch. It also shows me the size of my file. My file was originally 13.4 megs. By increasing it to 300 pixels per inch, it's now 35.7 megs. And if we take it back to what it was before, which was 184, you can see again, we haven't changed the file size at all because we haven't really resampled anything, right? We did that when we had resample unchecked. For argument's sake, I'm gonna show you what happens. Okay, first, we'll take a look at this image. We're seeing it at 100%, right? So it looks fairly smooth, pretty good resolution and detail. I'm gonna to go to image, image size. I'm gonna change this image by checking resample to just 50 pixels per inch. So I'm shrinking it way down. I'm gonna say okay. All right, there it is now at 100%. I'm gonna go back to image and image size and now we'll bring this up to 300 pixels per inch and we'll say OK. And you can see, if we look at the history here, the difference between the original and our resampled version. You can see how we've lost quality there. This happens in any pixel-based application. So like Procreate, you take an image, you shrink it, and then you decide you want it larger, this is what's happening. You're changing the quality because you're asking the application to first throw away pixel information so it can make it small enough. And then by enlarging it again, you're spreading out those pixels, right? And so instead of the pixels getting larger, we have to pack more pixels into the same space so they stay the size that we want, which means we're adding pixels where there aren't pixels. And that's what happens. Right? So another thing to be aware of for image, image size, if we go back to that, that resampling, again, allows us to add pixels or throw away pixels. And in some cases, we can do that a little bit. But if we do it a dramatic amount or to a larger degree, making the image twice as big or twice as small, then that's when we run individual problems with the image.